Good morning. Who's this little guy? This is my youngest of three. <laughs> youngest of three? What's his name? Preston. You want to come up here? Come on up here. Up this way. Oh, boy. Come here. Okay, tell us your name. Preston. Preston, how old are you? Seven. You make a good appearance, Preston, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> you know that, huh? Now, someday when you get to be, you know, you get through college, you're going to go to college someday, I hope, right? Yes. And what, what do you want to be? Um, I want to be a cop. You want to be a police officer? Like Inspector Quinn, look at Inspector Quinn. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Do you ever see Inspector's badge in the... Do you ever see his badge? Where's your badge, Inspector Quinn? <coughs> Show it to him. Pick it up. You want to show it? You want to show it to your mom? <laughs> Let's see now. If we put this right here, how would you feel about that? Good. Feel good about that? Yeah. All right. Now remember, someday you're going to be. A, do you have a camera with you? Yeah. <laughs> My phone. <laughs> All right. Take, take a picture of him with this badge here. Okay, now remember that, okay? That's, you, you had a bet, you had Inspector Quinn's badge on. Thank you, Inspector. Thank you, Judge. All right, here's what we're going to do with your mom. See, your mom has some violations, and we really can't hear them today, but if we could. If we could, and I asked you to help me, and if I said to you, listen, I could charge your mom $285, or I could charge her 95 or I could charge her 190 what would you say? 190 190 <laughs> You notice he didn't say 85 <laughs> I'm going to throw one more in now. See if you can remember this. Let's assume I said 285, 190, 95, or zero. What would you say then? 95. 95 again. <laughs> You're not getting away, right? Because he is a law and order guy, I right? Guess so. He as soon as we put off. Inspector's badge on him, right, <laughs> he said no favors for anybody, right? <laughs> equal, equal treatment for everybody, right? Yes. Right. Now, if you were a police officer right now and your mom was speeding and you stopped her, would you give her a ticket? No. No? All right, good. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> Inspector Quinn, he would give his mother a ticket if he was a police officer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're allowed to, Judge. No? How about you? No. Yeah, okay. I, I was not allowed to, but <laughs> my mom hardly ever came to the city. Thank, thank you for your help. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sullivan, you have um, <clears throat> a boot on your motor vehicle. That's correct. You have five violations. Of those five violations, three of them are red lights that you were observed on camera. We're going to look at the red and white violations. Okay, not much question about that one. Next, we're going to take 841. Light is red, oh. and there you go, right through it, <clears throat> making a left-hand turn. And next is 579, and this is on, you have a red light violation on Dean and Route 10. Right through. Let me see that again. I'd like to see that again, too. White is red. Oh, yeah. And there you go, Just right through it. Just red. Let's see. Yeah. And you have two parking tickets as well. All I can say is uh, I've been delivering pizza for quite a few years now. It's what I do for a living. Drive around every day, trying to get the people their pizza as fast as possible. And once in a while, I, that's I One, get caught with that. It so what you're trying to tell me is that on rare occasions, 
because you want to make sure the pizza gets to where it's being delivered quickly and so that's nice and hot and tasty, right? So I get more deliveries and make more so, money too. So they get more, of course, I mean, you have to make tips, right? Yeah. That's how you make your money. What's the biggest tip you received? Uh, but see, 40, $45 tip one time. That's $45 tip. I was very happy oh. with that. I thought you were gonna say Bet Sea Biscuit in the fifth. <laughs> so that's a pretty good tip, right? <laughs> you went through about fifteen red lights to get the pizza there on time. <clears throat> Six years of pizza delivery. Six years of pizza delivery. So you deliver a twenty dollar pizza and you're paying eighty five dollars for a fine. Oh yeah. The math doesn't make sense. I know it's tough, it's tough business. All right, what else you wanna tell me? That's all I really got. I you were, I didn't, yeah, I didn't have, I didn't pay the tickets on time because, because uh, you were broke. It wasn't at the top of my list of things to pay, and I didn't have the money. Yet. You have a lot of bills. Yes. Yeah. Like what? Food. Food, rent, clothes, girlfriend. Girlfriend. Is she expensive? Not too bad. She's pretty good. Yeah. What'd you get her for her birthday last year? We went out, had a nice day. Took her off for dinner? Yeah. Nice bottle of champagne? Pretty huh? much, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, you could give him a, a break, Judge. You'd give him a break? <laughs> Maybe a little. It's about the pizza, Judge. First day on the job, he wants to take over the court. <clears throat> I don't know, you guys know each other? Never met. Huh? You, when, he t when he said he took his girl out to dinner, that softened you up a little bit, huh? Not really, Your Honor. He didn't buy her a gift. I know. She was looking for the ring. <laughs> maybe next year. No, is that? Next year, maybe? Yeah. Okay, well, she might be watching. Be careful. What is that? She might be watching. <laughs> say next year, so you better start saving up. Okay, well, Inspector Nato thinks we should give you a break. I'm not sure how much of a break I can give him. He's got a boot on the car. So it's a mandatory fee of $100 for the boot. Uh, it's $125 for the tickets, so it's going to be a total of $225. Okay. okay. Can you pay that today? Can I pay 100 today? We can do that. Thank you very much. Don't leave yet. And how much can you pay a week? Uh, I could pay 50 a week. 50? No, you can't pay 50 a week. Make it 20 a week. How's that? Sounds good to me. Yeah. You may get another forty-five dollar tip. You can, you know. Hey, yeah. You can pay it early. You can do it all. All right. Twenty a week. You can pay more. Okay. You can afford it. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Good luck to you, John. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Every once in a while, you see someone you know immediately that they are the perfect embodiment of the job they do. For example, you see Tom Brady and you go, "Greatest quarterback ever." You see Bill Gates and go, billionaire nerd. You see this guy and you go, world-class pizza delivery guy, right? Instantly, no doubt. The calm, smiling face, the relaxed body posture, the heavy eyelids, the half chuckle to a joke that only he hears. Yep, I'd go as far to say that he's probably the Michael Jordan of pizza delivery guys. It was an honor to meet him. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.